so you're still looking, you're still searching, you're doing your thing. Nothing's quite caught your eye yet. Well, I got one for you today. You're sleeping on Valley Center, Kansas. You probably haven't even heard of it. Valley Center is a small suburb, kind of south, or not south, excuse me, north, like northwest of Wichita, Kansas. If you're looking for that small town charm, that vibe, that strong sense of community, Valley Center's got you covered in spades. I'm gonna throw you five, re five reasons why you shouldn't be sleeping on Valley Center. We're getting after it right now. So off the bat, like I said, number one, strong sense of community when they're doing their parades and what have you. These streets, this is Main Street here, full, full Main Meridian. Everybody's out, everybody's cheering, everybody's having a good time. Kind of a small town vibe, charm, whatever you want to call it. Valley Center's got that in spades. It's one of Wichita's smaller suburbs, less people. Everybody seems to know everybody, you know. If that's something you're kind of looking for, do your homework, do your research. Check out Valley Center, Kansas. So number two, kind of still going along with that, that small town charm, you know. <laughs> Housing options are a little more tight here compared to some of these other ones. There's several communities in the works at the moment. This is gonna drive house prices up. You wanna get in a community, a smaller community, and as that community, grows and thrives you know that's going to naturally bring up those home values so you get in get yourself some, some nice uh, a nice place as the, as the city grows as it thrives so will you there's not quite as many people coming in to here well there's still people coming in but not compared to say Wichita you don't have as many options that's naturally going to inflate the price as well. So when the town's growing, when the, crown, the town's thriving, say in the next five, ten years, you know, if you come in when the time's right, you snag that, that little bit of real estate, as it expands, as it grows, more money's coming in, home prices are increasing, you're on the right side of that. Number three, like I've been saying, I gotta throw niche.com out there. Valley Center schools are some of the top schools in the area. When I was showing homes, when I'm still showing homes, that is the number one thing, you know, are the schools. So when it comes to that kind of stuff, when you're wanting to give your child that top tier education, and don't follow, don't, don't take my word for it, niche.com, check it out. It's in, it's in the top five in the area. You got those top-notch schools. Your kid's getting a better education that pays dividends for you down the road. Just a little food for thought. Before we get to the next one, let me know what you're thinking. Are you getting any value out of this? Maybe a little? Do me a solid like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Maybe you know somebody who's interested here, one of the other suburbs, Wichita. Share that sucker. Help me out. We got to get the word out so we can help you and yours. And while we're at it, if you got a question, reach out. I can't read your mind. Call, text, email, all that good stuff. When it comes to relocating to Wichita and the surrounding areas, morning, noon, early night, weekends, I got your back. So, plugs aside, we're getting back after it right now. Number four. Got that small town charm, the vibe, we got the good schools. The opportunities for jobs are a little lacking here compared to some other places. So why not come in here and start that opportunity yourself? I mean, look at this, we're downtown. This is Main Street. Plenty of opportunity here, ripe for the picking right for the taking you know if you're a small business owner e-commerce something like that plenty of opportunity here settle down in a small town become one with a community you're naturally gonna have people around here you do your thing you take care of people people are gonna look after you 
you know you got to put a little work in but there's opportunity here it's just a little food for thought anything worth it is never easy trust me but there's opportunity here it's expanding uh, you got Am the Amazon Fulfillment Center not too far away and that is a huge building that's uh, in Park City but not far away number five I've been preaching this one because it's a tool that not a lot of people know about the USDA loan this goes through the Department of Agriculture if you're in a rural area <clears throat> they'll cover your down payment obviously there's some hoops you got to jump through credit you know it goes through two sets of underwriters so your close times a little longer you know instead of 30 35 days you're looking more like 45 to 60 they cover your down payment yes there's going to be hoops you got to jump through will your interest rate be a little higher yes but it's zero down there's going to be some fees there's going to be some higher interest rates that's just the price of getting your down payment covered it's more than just that the home's condition has to pass their rigorous checklist as well because you know Uncle Sam's investing in you in this home they want to make sure it's been kept up they want to make sure everything's on the up and up and honestly that's good for you because who wants to live in a home that's going to be anything less yes you got to jump through some hoops yes it's going to be a little more expensive there's going to be fees but this is me being transparent with you letting you know up front it's a tool it's a great tool you know ask for some concessions what that's just a fancy way of saying hey can i get the seller to cover some closing costs and we can get you pretty close to little down. I mean, you're still going to be on the hook for an appraisal, for an inspection. And don't, don't try to save money on your inspection. Any good inspector is worth their weight of gold, just like your real estate agent, just like your lender. Do what you got to do, because for most of us, this is the biggest investment we're ever going to make. So... I've got links down below for the USDA map. It tells you what's eligible, what's ineligible. Of course, it's also going to come down to condition. Going to have uh, all the other tools I usually have, the air quality control, the community crime map, all that stuff. I'm giving you this information, these tools to help you make that informed decision. But let me know, is Valley Center for you? Yes? Okay, cool. No? Hey, that's fine too. Throw me two, three things you like, you dislike, what's important to you. Budget, time frame, all that good stuff. You might be surprised on what we find. Might just find you something that you're ready to call your own. But like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Got a question? Reach out. I can't read your mind. Call, text, email, DM. Morning, noon, night, early night, please. Weekends, I got your back. When relocating to Wichita and the surrounding areas. Till the next one, guys. We'll see you later.